Hi guys, Kelly Snow. Say I um, wanted to stop in and share with you what I was doing today out in my little she shed. Um, you know, I do a lot of herbs and I do a lot of gardening and I do a lot of um, sage smoking in the house, you know, and I do all the cleanses in the spring and May Day and all that kind of stuff. So I like to burn... Um, you know, all the different things in the house. And so today, I, um, my sage started flowering already. So I had to cut some of it, and I make, you know, burn sticks. And then, um, my thyme is ready, and this is organic thyme. And, um, you know, I have these, and so it's going to flower too. And so I have to cut them. So I'm stringing them by threes, if you can see, I've strung them on some twine here, and I'm going to make some little, um, I'm going to make some little tags for these, and then, you know, I list all this stuff in my Etsy shop, but it doesn't ever stay long, <laughs> so, um, anyway, so I've cut all my little sprigs of thyme, and I've got them on my little hemp rope here. <laughs> I've got a couple different, um, couple different ones. Let's see how many I got here. I got this bunch and this bunch. So, two, three. I think I got four bunches of thyme that are all strung up on a little string. And then um, I'm gonna make little tags for them to hang up. And then I have some sage. We like sage. And this, like I said, these were flowering. So I have to get these cut or I'm not going to get any more. And um, I cut up some little, I printed out some little things here. And we're going to make tags out in my shed. So I have um, cardboard and I have some printouts of time and little fairy things because fairies like time and I got out a box of my craft stuff and I brought out some little things so I can sit out here and cut my herbs and make my little tags. These are going to be really cute. All right. Now, I'm only out in my shed and I only have a couple things out here. I don't haul everything out here. But what I am going to do is, I made these, um, I printed these out, so I'm just going to cut these out. Hey buddy, knock it off. Nobody wants to hear you, buddy. So I'm just going to cut these out. But anyway, it's really nice here out here today and I'm out in my shed and so it's really fun. Hi! I'm out in my she shed today and I'm picking my herbs and so I'm gonna make some cute little tags. <laughs> Hi Nicole! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm outside playing in my she shed and I cut my herbs and now I'm gonna make little signs to hang and then you know I well I put these in my Etsy shop and I keep one and I bring them to all my girlfriends. And they like that because I bring them sage and I sage their house and walk around, you know, and we open up all the windows and we open up all the cupboards and you got to clean the house now and get it all cleaned out. We got to get uh, the winter shit out of the house. So we, well, I plant the herbs <laughs> and then We go smoke it out. Smoke out the winter blues with all these. Except my um, rosemary died, so I'm really, I'm really bummed. I know I, I made, um, we got a load of old doors. Look at this old door, isn't it great? And it's got pink, pink underneath. Oh my God, I'm in love with it. He made a whole shed for me out of old doors. So I have my own little princess palace. We just put it up last year, so I'm just now getting it all decorated up in here, so it's really fun. So now I can sit out here and do what I want. And then I can watch the doggies. 
my little one has a disability, you know. So I'm just going to make some cute little um, signs to hang with my little herb. And then it's just going to hang on a loop and you can like hang it in your kitchen, you know. And then when the time dries out, you can obviously use it. It's organic too and I don't plant and I don't use any fertilizer or anything like that. So you can put this right on your food, whatever you're going to do with it. And we're going to make little tags, little um, signs to go with it. And what you do is, is I cut all my little herbs and I put them all on a little string. And then I'm going to string up my little, it's a little fairy herb. My I got fairy, um, what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Bummer, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, oh, really? <laughs> oh, cool. Nice. I love it. Yeah, I come out here now and I'm farting around. He's working in the yard and I get to sit in here and play around. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Hi, Paula. We're outside. We're outside. <laughs> so um, I just cut I plant organic only herbs you know how I am about I'm weird about it hi Paula so um I cut them because they're flowering already I'm not used to this Washington growing season so my sage is already started to flower and my thyme I had to cut because it's just going crazy so I've cut it all and what I do is is I string them I string them all together hi Nicole I know. I, I'm mad about everything. Look, I either do it all the way or I don't do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, organic. Yeah. Well, I mean, otherwise, what are you eating? Nothing. There's nothing left. There's nothing left after they pulverize it. All right. So, so I have like four little of these things with three sprigs of thyme on the end of them. And I'm just cutting out the little tags. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to coax all the little fairies. Hi. We're trying to coax all the little fairies to come to our gar to our kitchen. So I'm cutting out and I got a couple little images of some fairies here and some time and I'm just farting around in my shed. You know, oh did you? Yeah, you have to do that. I plant flowers too just to, so I can have, you know, you got to dry them. And then I want to show you guys, I know it's going to stink, but I have a clear ceiling. So it's going to be really fun once I get going here, but it's the first year in this yard, so I have nothing that I want. So I have to plant everything. Thankfully, my husband is amazing and just does it, you know what I mean, if I ask him to. Oh, you couldn't hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> well, I just was, um, can you hear me now? I'm sure you can. I, um, I wanted to show you my ceiling because I know he's so great. <laughs> wanted to show you my ceiling because, um, no, not yet. I didn't make him a journal yet. <laughs> not yet. I'm so busy. I have too many to make. Now my, I, my, my she shed has doors on both ends so I can open and the breeze can come through. And then I had him build um, two walls, well half walls, out of pallets so that I can, look at this, so I can um, plant flowers on the outside. So that's like a little pallet wall. And then there's my door, you know. And then there's another pallet wall and then like the door, you know what I mean? And then this whole front is doors right here. But anyway, so now for the pallets, I put my rakes in there and my shovels and all my stuff and it fits right in there, right? And so now I left a clear ceiling. So now we can hang all the herbs and stuff, you know? Hi, I know I'm just showing. This isn't what I'm actually doing, but <laughs> I'm just showing you what, what I... What I got going on, just for fun. Since you're all here, 
Nicole, I did a new makeup video and I was mentioning how we're arguing about eyeliner. Did you watch it yet? <laughs> I was calling you bratty names and everything. <laughs> ah, it was funny. I heckle you even when you're not here. You know that, Nicole? I do it all the time. I don't know why I have a picture on you, but it's kind of fun. <laughs> uh, so anyway. What are you guys doing? It's Memorial Weekend. And, um... Well, thanks, you know, because, you know, I got sick of watching those other people on there. <laughs> I get sick of watching those kind of videos. It's like, seriously. Yeah, you have to watch it, Nicole, because I gave you all kinds of hell. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> oh, you're crafting. Okay. We're just out in the yard farting around. And my husband is, um, I wanted... Yeah, I'm sick of those videos where they get on there and pretend like they're all perfect and they have everything figured out. I don't. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't either. I like it raw, you know. And then if you don't like it, well, then to hell with you. Don't watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you're not brave? Oh, come on now. Who cares? We're just hanging out. We're not doing anything in particular. You know, otherwise I would do a tutorial video, but I'm not. I'm just hanging out, and I thought maybe you guys might might be bored or something, you know? Well, hey, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes people don't like that honesty. It slaps them in the face, and then they think I'm rude and crude, you know? Which I might be a little rude, crude, but, <laughs> but you know. <laughs> okay, so I cut out all my little images. I'm trying to coax these dang fairies in my yard. And then, um, a garden junk journal. Oh, I know. Me too. I have one. What kind of paper you use? I dyed some onion skin paper. Oh, and I have it sitting in the wings, and I can't wait to get to it. But right now, I'm doing that calling card diary, and it's just so dang pretty. But I do got to get back to my garden one. I like to use tea bags for those and onion paper. And we did cabbage paper too the other day if you were watching. Okay, so I have some cardboard stock. And, um, Nicole, <laughs> you're so cute, honey. <laughs> um, so I have card stock. I don't even know where I got it. I'm just going to cut squares. And then I'm going to glue these little things on here. And,. We're going to make a little sign, and we're going to hang it on my time, and then I put them in my Etsy shop, and then you can look for it there, and what you do is you get it, and then you can hang it in your kitchen, and then when it's all dried, why, you can use it, or you can leave it hanging, and it's really cute, and it's from my garden, and it's all organic and everything, you know. So I got some burlap. I didn't coffee stain this because it's only background and frankly, my dear, you know, the rest of the line. So, Nicole, do you know how to cut burlap in a straight line, honey? <laughs> if you don't, I'll show you how. It's a really cool trick. Do you know how to do it? <laughs> I'll show you anyway. How about that? Okay, so I know that this is only going to be background, and I just want a little piece, and I want to cut this really long strip. Okay, so I'm showing you. So, um, if you just pull one of these out, I'll show you. I'll pull one out right now, and you're going to say, oh my god, that is so cool. You pull out a whole strip out of the whole thing. You just keep pulling and keep pulling and keep pulling. Okay, so I pulled it out, and now look. See that perforated edge? Now there's a perfect straight line. You can take your scissors and cut that burlap now. A perfectly straight line all the way down. You see how it's wider right there? Because I took that one string out. Can you see it good? This is kind of hard out here. But isn't that cool? Did you see? Did you see? Paula, did you not know that trick? Hey, cool! <laughs> well then I taught you how to cut burlap in a straight line. <laughs> You don't need to measure ever again. You know what I mean? I hate burlap for that. But this is how we do it. Okay. So 
So I'm just cutting a big long strip. Oh, okay, well then, see, you never know what you're gonna learn when you turn the tube on and talk to me. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, now this one, I just want some of the cardboard to shine through because I'm going to make a big sign. It's going to be super cute. And we're going to hang it from my... Oh, it says I got a very bad connection. I wonder how that is. I'm outside even. Hm. I don't know. But we'll see. Is it coming out okay? Paula. <laughs> is the video coming out okay? It says it's a very bad connection. I don't understand it, but... Hm. We'll see. If you guys tell me it's bad, then. I usually like to put wax on these. Oh, maybe, yeah. But if you can see it okay, I mean, I'm just out in my yard. Maybe I better move it closer to the house. I'll go this way. <laughs> there. I'm sure three inches will help. <laughs> okay, so I'm just cutting this out. Just cutting this out. I'm going to make these cute little tags. Okay. Well, if it gets too bad, I'll have to go outside. If it gets too bad. But, I'm literally right out in my yard. So, okay, well, you can still see then. Why then? That's okay. Boy, cardboard's hard to cut, ain't it? I'll just bend it. It's a lot easier. But I didn't bring my knife out here, so... So it's crooked and everything, but you know what? This is how we're going to do it anyway. Because now that we got this taken apart, now we can see inside there. And you rip some off to get some texture. See? There. Now we got it. You don't have to do it to all of it, but just to give it an interesting something. You know what I mean? There. Just rip it off like that. See? Nice. Now... I can't see how many people are here. Who's here? Anything. All it keeps saying is very bad connection. Very bad connection. Very bad connection. It's like, what the heck? Okay, so now, if you like to fray the burlap on both ends, which I do, you just, just what I just showed you again, you just pull out the end one, of course, and it comes right off. And then you pull it off again. So that we can make those little frayed... You know, those little frayed squares. Those are cute. Alright. Can you guys even see anymore? You better tell me, because if not, I'll take it outside. Oh, well, let me go outside then. We can take it outside, and then I'll just do it on my table outside. I have a, a table right here that I use to pot my plants on, and this should be way better. Okay, bye. We'll see if it gets better as we sit out here, okay? Let me just see. But this is outside, and I got a mess. But I bet you it'll be better in just a second. I'll try it, and we'll see. We'll see if it gets better in a second, because now I'm out of my shed and outside. We'll see. It's still saying bad, but it might give it a minute to catch up to where that I moved, you know? So we'll see. But otherwise, we can do it here. This is where I pop my plants. I put another door out here so that I can work on the outside of it, too, you know what I mean? So, and then I got this little sink. I'm going to put in right here. It's a little silver sink. And it's really cute. Okay. Is it still saying bad connection? 
It went away. But I see I lost a lot of you because it was horrible. Look at that. Okay, it's got to be getting better now. Right? I think it looks good. Doesn't say very bad connection anymore. But now all my supplies are inside, so just give me one second and I will get them, okay? Okay, here we go. Okay, good. Yeah, somebody gave me a whole load of old doors. There was like 15 of them, so I went berserk. I redid all the doors in my whole house. I took them right out and put these right in. <laughs> now, every door doesn't even have a doorknob yet. I haven't even found doorknobs, even the bathroom. My husband's like, um, we're going to have to fix this when we have company. <laughs> okay. So, I ripped the backing off there. Now I don't know where the angle of the camera is. Oh, you can you see it? I ripped that off. Now I'm going to layer in some burlap. If I can get it to come out. Boy, oh boy, you just never know what's going to happen when you... There we go. Now we got it. There. So I'm just going to layer on some burlap over the top a little bit. I know, I've been looking. And around here in Seattle, they charge an arm and a leg for stuff like that. So I'm waiting. I go to Michigan or Minnesota or whatever and I bring back the weirdest stuff. <laughs> Look what I brought. Look what I bought. Oh my god. It's the bottom to a rocking chair. You know, it's bowed. You know that shape. So I'm going to hang it up and from the ceiling and use it for, you know, to hang my flowers from. <laughs> so I always bring home weird stuff. <laughs> it's so stupid. But it's fun. Okay. So I got the burlap, and now I'm going to glue my time on there. Ooh, this is cute. My husband's down in the river. We live on the river, and we're planting hydrangeas and my climbing roses and some shade some shade plants I can't, I can't think of what they're called right now you know the shade ones with the big green leaves what are they called? oh my god okay hi Paula yay so anyway he's going down there and picking up rocks so I can make a flower bed okay so this is cute and now we got to pick which time fairy we want. I like this one. She's really cute. I think I like her the best so far. I'm going to put her in the corner. And I just kind of layer it in. I'll just put her right here. Or let's see. I got to get my hole punch because I left that in there. Because we got to make a way to hang it. Hi, buddy. I had to bring everything outside, you guys, because inside my building. I was getting a shitty connection, so I had to move it outside on my potting bench, so now I got dirt everywhere. But, at least now we're not buffering, <laughs> right? So, okay. 
so I've got it this far. Where are you at here? Oh, you guys are talking. Yeah, so I got it this far. And um, now I'm going to punch holes. And I got uh, the time fairy. I'm going to put her on here. And I'm going to punch some holes. And make a hanging thing. And then it's going to hang on top of my time, my time string here. My herb rope. Okay. So then you can hang it in your kitchen. And it's from my garden. Okay. So I got my hole punch. I even brought some ink in case we wanted to ink it up a little bit. I think I'm going to put, this is big, so I'm going to put um, two holes in this one. In the corners, I guess. Kind of deep in, too. That's how I do it. On these ones. Okay. I could even put the fairy on the string, too. We'll see how I do it. And I did bring some lace in case we want to but then I'm covering up the cardboard, so I think, I don't know, we'll see. I got four of them to make, so. Okay, so now, my dogs are annoying. I left this string long enough so I can just string it through. Some of them I left so short, and some of them I left long. So, oh buddy, nobody wants to hear you, bud buds. My dogs, it's so funny. Okay, so if I do it like that, we'll be able to hang it in your kitchen from a little loopy loop. Oh, and like I was saying, this is all organic and stuff. There's no um, fertilizers or anything on this. So if you get it, you can eat it if you choose to. So I just keep going in and out and in and out until I, I don't know. Until I like the way it looks, you know what I mean? So we'll see here how we, how we do it. So we're making little signs to go with our herbs that we cut. Just in case you're just getting here, we cut some herbs here. And now we're making little cards and I'm out on my potter's bench outside in the yard and we're trying to figure out how to do this and my camera here is a little bit low I'm gonna pull it back here a little bit I had to switch everything because I was out in my she shed and I wasn't getting good signal so now I have to bring you guys way outside <gasps> on my potter's bench <laughs> oh my god okay so now I have dirt everywhere that's okay. So now I brought out some, I got some cardboard and some burlap and I picked out this little time fairy. She's really cute and we're going to put her on there. So I picked this time out of my garden and I'm making a little sign here and this is going to get, that's so cute. Oh, thanks. And then I'm going to put this in my little shop early or later on here. So, um, I'm trying to hang it up so you guys can see, but my camera won't show it. So, so this is going to be cute as soon as we can get it going here. As soon as I can get it going here and tie it off. And then if I can hold it up and see my camera to show you, because it's just so cute. <laughs> You can see now what I was going to do, right? But if I could show you, if I could hold it up and you could see it, but every time I hold it up, then you can't see what the heck I'm doing. Because I don't have the greatest camera angle, but it's going to hang, you know, like this from your kitchen. These are going to hang down and then you'll have this, you know, hung somewhere. So it'll be, you know. I'll show you when I'm done. I'll hang it on my wall in my she shed and then you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Because they're going to be adorable. And I have a couple different kinds and I have some sage too. Because you got to have sage if you want to clean out the winter blues out of your house. 
we got to do that now. We should have done it in the spring. I usually bring around sprigs of stuff for my girlfriends on May Day. And we go through the house like, I don't know, cookies. And we smoke out the house to get rid of all the winter stuff. I always say get rid of the winter blues, but... But... My rosemary didn't make it through the winter, which I'm really upset about that because I use that the most, rosemary and sage. So I'm just tying this on, no big deal. Just tying it on. Then I have some ribbon to add some color, but right now I'm just using hemp. Okay, can you guys see okay? Okay, so we tied this on and we got our little, oh, this is gonna be adorable. Let me show you. I will hang it right up here and show you what it looks like. Really quick. And you gotta tie a loop on the end so you have a way to hang it. And it's super cute. But I have four of these to make. So we'll make some more. Okay, one more knot here and then I can hang it up and show you what it looks like. Because it's really adorable. For just a cute little garden. A cute little garden project. Okay. And then... I'll show you here. I'm going to lift it up though. It's going to be annoying, but I'll show you anyway what it looks like. So it hangs, see? But if it was against a wall, it wouldn't be blowing in the wind. You know what I mean? So it's cute with this little tag and it says time on it. And I'm going to put a little fairy on there. I'm not done yet. And then, um, you know, so it's cute, right? I love it. It's just adorable. It all hanging on a wall so it could swing in and then you can see what it looks like. Okay, so now I'm going to put the fairy on there because she's been waiting all this time. Well, Paula, now you can just, you just watch me do it. So, otherwise, I'm putting it in my shop. You can just have it from my kitchen. I'm going to list it in a minute. I got four of these, and then I'm going to do a sage bundle, but I don't think I have enough to do a whole sage one. So sometimes I do, um, I do, oh God, they're beautiful. I have this one lady, she orders them from me every year. I do, um, you know, for lighting in your house, they're like herb um, sticks, you know? And I put roses in there and stuff. Roses and my thyme and my rosemary and all my stuff and I put pretty ribbons on there and you know, flower, dried flowers and I wrap them up and then, um, you know, anyway, this lady orders them for me every year. But anyway, so that's what we're making is these, if you just came in, and then it hangs. I got some fresh herbs that hang by it here, but we're outside now because I couldn't. So I'll show you guys one more time just in case. It's really cute, but I'm outside now, so it's not hanging on a wall. So this would be hanging in your kitchen and it has thyme on there, and then I cut it for my garden, and yeah, see? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another one, because I have more, I have more thyme fairies, I have some other kind of lace, and I have some little glitter, so, um, but I moved everything, so now I have to get my images, and they're in my shed. Okay, so this one, I'm going to do this. Um, well, my Etsy is, um, I got it linked to a couple of my videos. I know it's on, or I mean, um, my Pinterest. That's what you're talking about, right? My, my Pinterest link is on that one video 
um, Paula. It's on that one video that I did, um, the Tsunami Rose Design Team Project. That video. My Pinterest is linked on that video. Uh, I just haven't been able to do it. I can't do all that stuff from my iPad, and that's what I work from. I rarely ever get on the big computer, but when I do, I have to do all that stuff. And I just haven't done it, so I linked it to one spot. So anyway, I'm trying to get these dang fairies to come in my garden. <laughs> so I'm going to do this one next. So we're just, we're just getting some cardboard and we're just cutting it out. It's no big deal. It's no big deal, Paula. You can do it. I got a piece of cardboard and I printed out a thing. You know what I mean? I ripped up some burlap and I glued it on. You know what I mean? I know you can do that for sure. I know you can. <laughs> or you can order one for me <laughs> and I'll do it for you. <laughs> uh, that's funny. No, you don't have to. I'm just saying. I just like to tease you guys. It's really fun. <laughs> It's really fun to tease you guys. Okay, so see now that I cut it off, you can you can rip this now. See, got to get in here and get violent. Take out all your stress out on the cardboard. <laughs> but I don't want to rip it all off. I just want it on the edge, just to give it some interest. See, and I'll do it again on this corner, and then. We'll have a cool background if I can get it with these dang nails. Oh, MG. Okay, here we go. We know, we know. I know. But you know what? I get these messages from people and I say the same thing over and over. And I get messages saying, where is your thing? How do I, what to blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I said it a hundred times. Really? So I don't know. I keep repeating myself because I swear I get messages. I just got one this morning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where is this? Where? How did you? What? What? And I'm like, OMG, seriously, because I just said that 50 times yesterday. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just told you. Okay. This time I'm going to put lace on it because I got this really nice lace trim. And I'll just do it down the side because this is how we do it. Because that's just how we want to do it, right? You're laughing at me, Paula? <laughs> Why? <laughs> what is so dang funny? Everybody tells me that all the time. You're so funny. I don't even, I don't see it, but... But I do giggle a lot, so maybe that's why. Okay. Here we go. See, that's cute already. Mm-hmm. See? I know, you know what? My daughter, my oldest daughter, Heather, doesn't have a creative bone in her body either. And she gets so dang mad at me because, you know, I can just take a bunch of crap and it's cute, you know? And... Oh, Etsy's a pain. Yeah, and I don't know if it's Kelly Snow. It's just Kelly Snow. I don't think I got the Culkins on it. And, you know, I don't even have that in my, like, name. I just put that on there in case, like, old childhood friends are trying to contact me and they don't know my married name. You know, and the Culkins, that's my maiden name, so I put that in there, you know what I mean? But it's just Kelly Snow. It's not even Culkins anymore. That's my maiden name. But I just did it so people could find me in case I have a long lost friend somewhere who remembers me. <laughs> Which I doubt. <laughs> you know what I mean? But wouldn't that be fun? Actually, I did have that happen. You guys wouldn't believe this. I really did have that happen here, I'm saying. I didn't, but I really did. From when I was um, a teenager. It's in that video, Paula. Tsunami Rose Design Team Project. It's linked there. Can you even see what I'm doing now? I'm just doing it, I guess. I don't think I saved these fairies to it, though, y'all. 
I just did it. I don't think I saved this stuff to it. Oh wait, I did. I made it, um, I saved some of the ones under herbs. These thyme ones under herbs, but I don't know if I saved these fairy ones. Well, you just have to go look, I guess, because I really don't know now what I did. I know I saved the thyme ones under herbs because I just made a new board. I guess this one's okay. I'm just gluing it. What the heck? It's cute. I love these. And I especially love them because it's organic. And from my garden. And I think it's fun. <laughs> of course, or I wouldn't do it. Okay, now, I think this fairy is really cute this time. I'm going to use her instead. I'll show you. She's cute. This one's, um, she's sprinkling fairy dust on it or something. But it's just super cute, so I'm going to use this. On here, this is going to be so adorable. I can't even stand it. Okay. Adorbs. Let's see. These words sometimes are a pain because now I can't punch where I want to because I got the words too down. Well, what did I do? See, you gotta leave room for the words. You know what I mean? Now I gotta punch a hole. I forgot about the words, but I can punch one here. See how I adapt and overcome. Watch this pop up. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang it by one punch, and it's just gonna be crooked. <laughs> this is how we do it, right? Okay, so I only got one little hole and I'm going to put it through that one. This stinking thing's going to be so dang cute. <laughs> and I have ribbon I'm going to put on it too. But first we have to get the, we have to get the height right so that it looks good when it's hanging. When it's hanging, this is going to be so stinking cute. OMG. I had to move all my herbs in the back because my kitchen is in the back of the house and all my herbs, I had them in the front. Every time I'm cooking, I'm like, pain, you know what I mean? So I moved everything in the back today, back there on the deck. So now I can just put all my stuff right on my thing and I can cook and go get it. Ooh, this is going to be cute. Okay, now I'm just tying a hole so I can tie it off. So we can hang it by a little loopy. This would go much faster as if I didn't have nine inch nails. You know what I mean? It's a little ridiculous, but I, uh, the struggle continues. <laughs> the struggle continues. I must have nails. Okay, this one's gonna be super cute. I'm going to hang it up. I don't know if I want this fairy. Yep, I have them in pots. Because I moved from an apartment. When we first got here, we stayed in an apartment for a year until we figured out where we wanted to go. And I had everything in pots. So when I got here last year, I'm like, oh my god, I have a yard. So I planted flowers and left my herbs in pots. Well, they all grew back, you know. So I'm just planting them. And the ones... Which band? Which band? But the ones I use the most, I want right by the kitchen, and they grow good in pots. So, 
but I have sage outside in the ground and in a pot, and I have thyme in a pot and in the ground. I do both, but I like it right by the kitchen because, you know. Oh, this is cute. I'm telling you. And then when you hang it up, I'm going to hang it up with the other one. Adorable. I have to show you. You can see. Yeah, see. So now it's going to hang like this, and then you're going to have your time hanging. But you know, it'll be against the wall, so it's not going to swing like that. You know what I mean? So aren't these cute, you guys? With the little time on the bottom? I just think they're adorable. I love them, and the time's really good. Isn't it cute? I can't stand it. Come on now. Did you see, Paula? I don't know who's still here, but... Did you guys see? I didn't have anyone answer me, so I don't know if you've seen. Okay, well, fine then. Okay, fine then. I will make another one. <laughs> well, you know, my sage lived, and it just depends where you are. My sage lived, and it comes back every year, and my thyme lived and comes back every year, and my chives, you know, onions and the chives, you know, those come back every year. Let me get my printouts. says my connection's bad again. That's stupid. I don't know how that happened. Oh, I see. So maybe you can see now. Can you? I can see them now. They all came at one time. Because my web connection is so terrible. I think is what the deal is. I couldn't see a dang comment. Not one. That's no fun. You know what I mean? No, but it's okay. And I just got them all at once. And they only stay up for two seconds. I can't read them all anyways.
Okay, this one's really cute. I like what it says about the essential oil. Anyway, you know what? This connection is so bad again. It's just, I don't know what's happening. But, but, I'm outside. I tried to, Nicole. I don't know. I, you can't do much when it's a live broadcast. It doesn't let you do very much. But anyway, this one's cute, so I'm going to finish this one up. i got to find a fairy for this one. Here it is. I found it. I think I'm going to use this little guy. Because he's really cute. <laughs> For the fairy on this one. I put fairies on all of them. I guess I don't have to though. In case you're not into fairies. I could leave one without fairies. For fun. I brought the ink out because if I, I ripped it, so intentionally, I mean, so I don't like fresh rips, you know what I mean? So these are cute, but I don't know, it might cut off all the words, so I don't even know if I'm going to use it now. Hmm. Let's see, that glue dries so fast I can't get it back up. I don't think I'm putting a fairy on this one. I don't know where she went. I don't know where she went. She went to go find my Pinterest and never returned. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, buddy, nobody wants to hear you, Romeo. Nobody loves you, Romeo. Okay, well, maybe we should go then, huh, Nicole? We can go. You guys seen what I was doing. Okay. We can go if you want. I tried, ladies, from my yard. That's okay, it was fun. You'll get a notice if you follow my shop when they're in there. Then you can at least look at it, you know what I mean? Okay. Thanks for stopping in and saying hi. I appreciate it. It's really fun when you guys come in. Okay. Bye.